For placing the electrode, it's really important that you prep the skin. We use these skin cleansing swabs, which are actually just alcohol swabs. And we just wipe down the area, wipe it down really well. This is just to remove any oils which can uh, cause drift in your signal. And now we can place the electrode. First, we're going to look for the chest leads. The important one is V1, um, because everything else is related to V1. So the first thing I do is I find the top of the sternum and about four centimeters down, there should be a ridge, which is over there. Um, and that should be your second intercostal space. And then I have to move two down to get the fourth intercostal space. And that will be V2 and V1 is just opposite that on the other side. Uh, next, I will find V4, which is mid-clavicle and just one intercostal space lower, mid-clavicle, place that one there. And then I look for V6, which is mid-axillary on the same level, It'll be over there. And then I can just fill in halfway in between is V5 and halfway between these two is going to be V3. Once I've found those spots, I can stick on the electrodes. Other side of the sternum. And then we have V3. Take each of these wires and run them into the octal bioamp into channels one through two through to six. Right now we're going to stick on the limb leads, lead one and lead two. So we first going to stick on left arm and try and stick it on somewhere where there is um, not a lot of muscle movement because that'll just cause EMG. Put it on the right arm. And then we can connect the left leg, which is the reference for all the augmented leads. And lastly, we can stick on the common, which goes to the ground input on, um, on the octal bioamp. Stick that on the right leg. An important part of getting really clean ECG data is to have the subject either lying down or sitting very relaxed in a chair as EMG can cause a lot of noise artifacts in your signal. 